guys, let's get right into this recipe. So we're gonna be using some stew meat. I got about three and a half pounds here. I'm gonna use some beefy onion soup mix, two packets of brown gravy, and some cream of mushroom soup. I'm using two cans of that. So we're gonna get all this into my crock pot and let's get started. All right, guys, so let's, we're gonna put our stew meat in the crock pot. All right, and I'm gonna trim some of the extra fat that's on some of this meat. Most of it is pretty lean, but a couple pieces still have some um, big pieces of fat on it. So I'm just gonna trim that off. I'm just gonna use some kitchen scissors and trim that fat off. All right, so now that we have the meat all trimmed up, now I'm just going to add some seasoning to it. I'm just gonna use this Tony's Creole seasoning. And I'm just, I'm not gonna add too, too much because we're gonna be adding the other seasoning. Um, pack is the um, gravy and the um, beefy onion but I do wanna season it a little bit. And I'm just tossing it around a bit just to get the seasoning all over the meat. All right, so now that we got the meat all seasoned up, we're gonna work on our gravy. So in this bowl, I'm gonna add the gravy packets, the beefy onion, and the cream of mushroom, and we're gonna add a little water to it as well. So we're just gonna dump everything in the bowl. And I am using both packets of the seasoning, the Lipton beefy onion, and both packets of our gravy. Now we're gonna add our cream of mushroom soup. And I'm just gonna add the water straight to the can. It's gonna get some of the extra that was in there out too. And as you see, it wasn't quite a whole can, but probably about I don't know, two thirds of the can filled with water. 
just mix everything together. And don't worry about that soup seeming like it's lumpy at first. It'll smooth out that cream of mushroom soup. Okay, I'm going to add a little more water to it. I'm going to get that out of this can too. And that might have been about a quarter of the, the can full of water. You don't want to put too much water because I, in my experience, any meat that I do in a crock pot creates a little of its own water. So you don't want it to get watered down. You want your gravy to still be thick. So now we're just going to pour the gravy mixture over our meat. And guys, you know, if you like onions and fresh mushrooms and things like that, you can throw that into this as well and let it all cook together. I prefer the flavor of onion, but I don't like the texture, so I don't typically add it to a lot of things I cook. Just kind of mix it in a little bit. You don't want to really have to mix it that much because it's going to get all in there anyway but I'm just kind of making sure it gets down into the bottom of the crock pot. All right guys, so now I'm just going to cover this and allow it to cook for six hours. Mine has a setting for six hours, so I'm just gonna put it on that and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right guys, so let's take a look at it. It actually stopped cooking about an hour ago and it just goes into a warm setting on my crock pot. So it looks good though, guys. It's nice and thick with gravy. It's so good. I actually, um, cause I've made this so many times. This is a really good hearty dish. And you got some good gravy there. Serve that over some rice or some mashed potatoes. And it's good either way. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having with it. So I will be right back. All right, guys, so I am having mine over some mashed potatoes with some corn on the side. I just sprayed my corn with some spray butter, put some salt and pepper on it. I love pepper, so there's a lot of pepper on it. But there you go, guys, some onion gravy beef tips. These are so good. You should definitely try it. They come out very tender and flavorful. So I hope you try this recipe guys and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.